It's one of the ultimate invasions of privacy. Someone at your doctor's office stealing your medical records to use against you. That happened to an Albuquerque man, and he did what most of us would do, sue. But as you're about to find out from Tim Iestis on special assignment, suing is a waste of time and money. Everybody's afraid of the HIPAA law. If you go see a doctor, you, you fill out paperwork before you see your doctor saying they're going to protect your records. To me, it's like a, a lion with no teeth. Bobby Romero is still upset years after he filed a lawsuit claiming an employee at his doctor's office in Albuquerque betrayed his family's privacy. An employee of a medical facility, medical entity, impermissibly accessed our medical records and wrongfully disclosed the information trying to win a legal battle against us. Romero says the disclosure was bad enough, but what happened next made him even angrier. The lawsuit he filed, claiming violations of state and federal medical privacy laws, went nowhere. It's very upsetting you know, when you figure out what's really going on. After several years of legal battles, the Romeros agreed to a settlement. They are not allowed to discuss the specifics, but court records spelled it all out. Romero was in the middle of a custody battle with his adopted son's biological father, whose wife just happened to work at the doctor's office. The medical group's privacy officer testified at one point the wife improperly accessed the Romero family's private medical information. Bobby Romero thought he and his family had a strong case, but they eventually had to give up, largely because of what they and their attorney described as a weakness in state law. The medical group's attorneys pointed it out. The Romero family could not collect monetary damages unless they suffered physical harm. The stress that they were, that they were put under was very significant, but it didn't result in a heart problem. It didn't result in an ulcer or anything of that nature. The Romero family's attorney says New Mexico's law needs to be updated. He says medical information is so important physical injury should not be required to collect damages. If New Mexico laws were stronger for this particular type of problem, then the patient whose privacy rights are violated would be able to, to hold the health care provider to a higher standard. Romero is now on a campaign for change. I wanted the problem to be solved so that this sort of thing doesn't happen to the average citizen. He has written state and federal lawmakers and the governor's office asking for help. His attorney claims the issue could keep patients from being upfront with their doctors. Well, if you know that some of this information is potentially going to be spread publicly, maybe you don't want to tell the doctor all those details. Maybe you keep some of the embarrassing stuff away that if you felt comfortable disclosing, you'd get better medical care. For Romero, it's still personal. You're still angry about this? I'm very angry. Very angry. It should have never happened. Tim Maestas, KRQE News 13. The feds can punish medical providers that violate HIPAA laws. They would not tell us if they did anything to the doctor's office that Romero sued. Romero, by the way, won his custody battle in the state Supreme Court.